Hello gin lovers, welcome back, old Freeman here, and today my friends we're going to be doing a slightly different video because instead of reviewing an actual gin, we're going to be reviewing a cocktail, and today my friends it is going to be this little beauty which is the French 75. And what I've done is I've teamed up with my good friend Cocktail Creation UK, who is a UK based Instagrammer, and he is a cocktail maker slash mixologist, whatever you want to call him, and he is awesome he's got some amazing cocktails on his page so go over and have a look at him i'll put a link to the section below some of them are the classic cocktails some of them are his own creations but they are all fantastic and i think you'll love him so head over there and check out cocktail creation uk so this one is obviously one of the classic well-known cocktails but let's have a little look at the history so we know what we're drinking and of course i do like to do the accent from where the drink is from and today finally at last gives me a chance to do my outrageous french accent and whenever I do a French accent, that makes me want to do this at the end of every sentence. I do not know why, I just think that is what French people do. The French 75 cocktail is made from a gin, champagne, lemon juice and sugar. It is also called the 75 cocktail, or simply in French, soixante cans. The drink dates back to World War I, and an early form was created in 1915 as the New York Bar in Paris. The drink dates back to World War I, and an early form was created in 1915 at the New York Bar in Paris by barman Harry McLaurin. The combination was said to have such a kick that it felt like being shelled by the powerful French 75mm field gun. That was a bit darker than I was expecting. Oh well, never mind. And as you can tell by my red face, this French accent has made me a little bit odd, so I think I will stop doing it for a while. Now the beauty of this one is it's very, very simple and very, very easy to make. All you do is you take 60 millilitres of gin, whack that in the old shaker, then you follow it up with 22.5 millilitres of lemon juice, and then 22, exactly the same again, 22.5 millilitres of sugar syrup, whack some ice in the old shaker and give it a bloody good shake. Once you've done that, stick the strainer on it, strain it into a lovely old champagne glass like that, and top it up with a bit of Prosecco or champagne or whichever one you prefer. So my friends, enough fannying around. We do a lot of that on this show. Let's get it in the old mouth, shall we? I'm not gonna do the smell test because it doesn't really work that way, I don't think. So here we go, Le French 75. What's, what's French for cheers? I don't think there is one, isn't there? Maybe, I, I, I don't know. Uh, well, I'll just say cheers. Cheers! <laughs> oh my god oh man and breathe okay as many of you know sometimes i just make the noises when i do that and when i try these drinks and this is one of those situations it's usually an indication that the drink is very nice and that my friends is just a delight I'll let you into a little secret. I'm not a big fan of champagne particularly dry champagne i just find it a little bit well dry I always opt for the slightly sweeter option if I can get it. And this is where the sugar syrup comes in. It just takes that dryness and just lifts it. Not everyone have got, has got a sweet tooth in drinks, but I, I love a bit of a sweet drink. And also that sort of citrusiness of the lemons just kind of gives it a bit of a zzz, a bit of a twizzle, a twizz, a zizz, or something like that. I don't know, one of those words. One of them will probably work. Pick your own and put it in. I'm sure it'll make sense. By the way, the gin I've used for this one is my good old friend here, the good old brokers which as many of you know it won my uh, top 10 gins of 2019 and i just think it's not like a mad crazy weird out there gin it's just a gin that does it does gin really really good and really intelligently and really refinedly I'm not entirely sure refinedly is a word but i think you know what i mean and the dangerous thing is it's also one of those cocktails that's extremely easy to drink because although you've got 60 milliliters of gin in there which is a big old measure, you don't really taste it. Hang on a second. You don't, well, of course you taste it, but you, you don't feel like you're drinking a great big slog of gin. As you can tell, it's the middle of summer here in London, and, and, but on a cot there like this, oh, man alive. Serve a few of these at your party, outside in the garden. You will never want for friends, trust me. Now, what I thought might be quite interesting to do as well is talk about what other gins might work with it, because I don't think many other shows do that. They'll show you how to make a cocktail, but I don't think they'll really give you too many options. So today, as I say, I used the brokers because I thought it's a good 
base gin for making cocktails because it's not too weird and wonderful. Now, another really good cocktail gin is, of course, the good old friend, Mr. Tanqueray 10. And I've mixed one up here, and this, I have tried this before, and I just think, because there's so much citrus involved in these, they put whole citrus fruits, not just the uh, the dried peel, like a lot of them do, they put whole citrus, lemons, and oranges in there. And it, I just think it lends, I didn't know if it would go a little bit too far with the citrus. However, it actually, really livens it up. I'd call it with a beef eater, I was gonna call it a bog standard cocktail. It's a bit disparaging. I would call it your sort of classic co sort of cocktail taste. However, if you wanna jazz it up a little bit, those extra flavors and citrus with the Tanqueray 10 will really, really do that. And it just kind of turbocharges that, uh, that the, the cocktail that it was before. Now then, here's a bit of a wild card, okay? I did a bit of experiment. I thought to myself, well, it's a pretty lemony drink, okay? Would it be too much to go for a lemon gin? Now, you don't have to use this one. This is the Malfi Con Limon, right? Very, very good lemon gin. Uh, and there are a lot of lemon gins available out there. But I thought to myself, I'll give it a go. You never know. I thought it was going to be overkill, but you know what? It actually worked really, really well. It <coughs> Provided you don't inhale it like I just did, it's absolutely extraordinary. Now, as I say, it won't be for everyone because particularly not if you like lemons and you probably hate it. But personally, I thought I thought it was going to overpower it and go a bit overboard. However, what it did was kind of give it like a sort of a sherbet quality to it, like a real sort of obviously, as you expect, like a concentrated sort of lemon. Oh, I can't even think of the right, right word. I want to say a zhuzh, which is definitely not a word. But again, I think it makes sense. So basically what I was doing is building on what happened here. I thought this is more of a citrusy gin, that worked well, so why don't I take it to another level? So the lemon gin in a lemon-based cocktail like the French 75 actually works really, really well. You might disagree, and many people often do with me, but if you do, let me know in the comments, comments in the section below. So all in all, a very, very simple cocktail to make, very versatile, and you can mix it up with the different gins. And I, these are the three that I think, if you've got any better ideas, as I, as always, do please let me know. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, then don't forget to let me know. Um, we'll continue to do the, uh, uh, the classic gin reviewing videos, as always. But I thought these might be sort of a little, sort of nice little break, sort of mix it up a little bit. So if you have enjoyed it, please press the like button and subscribe to my show if you haven't already. And if you want to support the show, head over to my Patreon page as well. But until next time, gay gays. <laughs> but until next time, guys, take care, stay safe, and keep drinking the gin.